Bayou Classic, the season finale between the Grambling State University Tigers and the Southern University Jaguars. I was there. I got a chance to film, be on the sideline, hang out, and it was an amazing, amazing experience. Before we get into the footage, though, I do want to let you know something. I didn't get the vlog the way I wanted to get it. It's not the way, it did not come out the way I envisioned it, but it doesn't matter. We still got some dope footage, and I can't wait to show you guys that. Hopefully next time, next year, my back will be a lot better and I can work and everything, but I'm very excited to talk to you guys about my Bayou Classic experience for 2023. The Bayou Classic was a lot of fun. I had a freaking blast. I got to see a lot of people I haven't seen in a couple of years. Some of them I probably haven't seen in a decade. So that was really, really fun to see, uh, to see those people get a chance to dap them up you know, talk to him. It, it was just a lot of fun, man. Kicking it off uh, for the Bayou Classic, obviously we're walking the streets. You know, we see Grambling people, we see Southern people, everybody's vibing. And the cool thing is even though we're rivals, we're really, you know, more of a family. Like we, we really do genuinely care about each other. We really do uh, appreciate the, the having them as part of this rivalry and part of the Bayou Classic because it is something that has been set up for a long time. You know, Eddie Robinson was part of the reason that the Bayou Classic was started. We wanted our own bowl game because, you know, back in those days, they didn't really let HBCUs compete in stadium of that magnitude and, you know, have bowl games and things like that. So we wanted something that was ours that we could, could take control of in a sense. And the Bayou Classic was born, held, in uh, the New Orleans Superdome. I think it's the Mercedes, I forget what they call it now. I still call it the Superdome. I ain't calling it whatever they want to call it. It's the Superdome to me. It'll always be the Superdome. That's where I grew up. You know, that's what Tom Benson called it. I, I'm assuming he was the one that built it, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's the Superdome. So it's built. The, uh, the game was held at the Superdome in New Orleans. And to see all of the legends on the sideline, man, before the game, you know, people that have starred in the Bayou Classic, you know, uh, seeing people like Bruce Eugene, uh, uh, Brandon Landers, there was a whole bunch of other people, like, I don't have the footage in front of me, so I didn't take notes or whatever, but seeing all those legends out there, man, it was just, it was just amazing to be able to see those guys again. I mean, I, I captured some of those guys' careers and to be able to see them again and they're like oh you know they call me by my real name daryl what up man you know things like that and to actually vibe and talk to them and things like that man that, that that was just something real cool one of the coolest things about the bayou classic is you get to see the bands the band the southern university human jukebox you know they're decent you know i gotta, I gotta hate a little bit all right i gotta hate a little bit they're really a good band but anyway they're decent they're decent Then you get to see the baddest band in the land, the world fame Tiger Marching Band. the bands march in and we get to hear the national anthem uh the black national anthem as well lift every voice and sing and of course the american national anthem the star spangled banner we get a chance to you know exchange pleasantries do the coin toss and then it's, it is time for the game that's, that's what we here for we here for the game and man sudden they did the thing i'm not even gonna lie they did the thing it was it was painful let's, let's just Let's just get to the footage. Let's just get to the footage.
I did in a football game, man, I got to give shout out to the bands. The bands shut it down as always. Only thing I don't like about sudden uh, halftime performance, I couldn't see anything. I literally couldn't see anything. Uh, this very limited footage that I got, which we'll be showing right now, um, they it, it was just it was poorly planned from a media standpoint. Hopefully they fix that next time. Hopefully both teams learn from this, including the uh, sideline staff or whatever. Hopefully they learn from this as well. But we, we really could not take pictures of Sutter's halftime performance. You know, Fantasia was performing. They pushed all of us, all of us back. All the media people back. The only people that really got super good footage was Southern's human jukebox media people. But then, of course, my school, the Grambling State University World Fame Tiger Marsha Band. No, they didn't do all that. They didn't do all that. They didn't have people blocking the sideline. We was able to get the footage that we needed. And I really, one of my favorite shots is a shot of, of a band director directing the band, uh, Dr. Edwin Thomas. He's directing the band, man. It was a beautiful, beautiful shot. And I remember taking pictures like that often when I was on the sideline for the Bayou Classic, taking classic pictures like that. It brought back memories. There's a lot of nostalgia going on during this time to remembering. It, it showed me that I still had my creative eye to get things that most people didn't get, whether it's uh, people in the stands, things on the field. So to get a chance, you capture footage like that to capture some touchdowns and things it was a lot of fun man it was it was a lot of fun i do wish i had done a better job getting a lot more b-roll but i still feel like i did a pretty decent job i kind of shot it as a photographer and not as a videographer so now i know how to do a football game so shout out to bayou classic uh, uh media team i'm guessing can't remember who's actually over the media. Shout out to whoever's over the Bayou Classic Media. Thank you so much for allowing me to get a chance to come back to the sideline, get a chance to come to the sideline one more time and, and patrol the sidelines with my camera and, and just capture some amazing footage. I, I really do hope I get a chance to do it again. It was a lot of fun. It just sucks the Grambling loss, but Bayou Classic experience overall was amazing to see, you know, Good Burger 2 out there handing out things before the game to see people still having fun vibing after the game it was just an amazing experience it proves that the bayou classic is needed the bayou classic is still amazing despite the team neither team was going to the swag championship but people still showed up they still showed out we had a great time the bayou classic i cannot wait to do it again next year thank y'all for watching and uh yeah i see y'all on the next one and we will win the bayou classic next year you know, we will win. Grambling is going to win. Deal with it.